space Getting everybody to their favorite place Festive decorations And Mary at the station We have to stay The bells are all ringing Carolers will be singing I'll be home for Christmas I'll be home. No matter how much it snows The tracks are clear and I'm getting near Cause there's no place like home I'm full of surprises. Are you singing, Diesel? They ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. As you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. I can't really see anything under here. I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. Some would probably say, I'm only up to my old tricks. But I'd say I'm a problem solver, looking for a nice quick fix. Ah! <laughs> I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle dazzle to the rail. I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see. I'm trusting my surprises to prevail. I hope this time being surprising doesn't fail. They used to Give call me, me devious. Oh. Because I had a bit of previous. Let someone on know. But please, you must be us. Oh. I'm not that bad. <laughs> well, maybe just a tad. <laughs> Montague is a little green tank engine. But everyone calls him Duck because the other engines used to say he waddled. Before Duck came to the island of Sodor, he worked on the mainland, on the Great Western Railway. Duck always works hard, and he always does things the Great Western way. The helicopter was rescuing some climbers from the rocks near Callan Castle. Hang on, chaps! I'll have you down in no time! He picked up the climbers and flew them to safety. But when he went to take off again, Rotors are jammed. I can't take off. So, Duck was called to Callan Castle. The fat controller was waiting for him. Duck, you are to take Harold to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center to be repaired. Yes, sir. But, sir, I'm so tall and my floats are so wide. How can I travel by rail? I don't want to bash into things. Don't worry, Harold. Thomas will be Doc's back engine. He'll keep an eye out to make sure you will fit through any low or narrow gaps. Now, don't be sad, Harold. We'll get you there in no time. I know, Doc. I just like being up in the sky. You'll see things differently up there. As they were travelling along, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Duck, I know how we can make Harold feel better. We can show him all the sights of Sodor from the ground. That sounds like fun. But Duck wasn't so keen. There is only two ways to do things, Thomas. The Great Western Way and the wrong way. The Great Western Way is to go directly and promptly to the Sudor Search and Rescue Centre without dilly-dallying. 
and without any fun. Calling all engines! Calling all engines! It's Thomas! He's the number one blue engine! He's a cheeky little tank engine with six small wheels, a short stumpy funnel and a whistle. Thomas works on his very own branch line with his two faithful coaches, Annie and Clarabelle. Sometimes he can be a little impatient, often getting himself into trouble. Oh, Thomas! But Thomas is always helpful and works very hard. That's why he's a really useful engine. make any sense. How could there be an island around here that's unknown? What if it was always covered in mist? Hmm? Oh, that sounds very mysterious. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> could be caught up in a landslide. Or have fallen off a bridge. Or tried to climb a mountain. And be stuck up on a ridge. He could have been derailed when he was trying to win a race. Imprisoned in a steel world. Or be lost in outer space. Fat controller to Major Thomas. Come in, Major Thomas. Stop messing around. You're causing confusion and delay. He could have gone off to some other place that we don't even know. He could be almost anywhere. Well, where did Thomas go? We don't know, sir. Well, keep looking. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas. He could be anywhere, anywhere in the world. Sir, sir, I found out what happened to Thomas. All right, Emily, calm down and tell me slowly. Thomas went down to the dock, sir, and, and Carly loaded him onto a ship. She did what? But 
That means he could be anywhere in the world! He could be checking out the pyramids while floating down the Nile Or in the outback of Australia with a crocodile He could be in Paris sitting by the Eiffel Tower Or chilling in Antarctica Wouldn't last an hour! He could be in the Himalayas taking in the mountain air Or acting like a tourist in the heart of Times Square Are there tracks there? Of course! The subway goes right through it <gasps> You mean he's gone underground? Hello? Hello? He could be in Rio de Janeiro as the carnival goes by Or out on Easter Island saying hi to a Mawai Hi! Hi He could be on an African safari racing a zebra Or in Venice on a gondola Don't be preposterous, he's a tank engine, he can't fit in a gondola Well he could if it was a rather large gondola he could be wrestling a sumo in a match in Tokyo He could be almost anywhere Oh, where did Thomas go? We still don't know, sir Well, we have to find him He's my number one engine He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas He could be anywhere, anywhere's Thomas He could be anywhere, anywhere in the world Oh, Thomas, where could you be?
pushed his way along the overgrown track. Annie and Clarabelle were not happy. Thomas, please! Where are we going? Don't worry. This shortcut is going somewhere. We'll be out of the woods soon and then... Oh! Oh! Thomas had hit a rotten buffer in the undergrowth and his wheels had come right off the track. Oh, no! I can't back up. I'm stuck. The passengers were not happy. Now they were going to be very late indeed. Thomas felt terrible. And then he saw his friend Bertie. 
<gasps> Hello, Thomas. What are you doing in there? Uh, I was trying to find a shortcut, Bertie, but I've come off the rails. And now my passengers will be late. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> but maybe I can take your passengers for you. Thomas's passengers thought that was a very good idea indeed. But Thomas still felt very silly. It was almost dark when Harvey came to shunt Annie and Clarabel out of the way before lifting Thomas back onto the rails again. The fat controller was very cross. Your passengers don't like to be late, Thomas. You have caused confusion and delay. I'm very sorry, sir. I was hoping to find a shortcut, but I will stick to my branch line from now on. A few days later, Thomas was back on the track. He arrived at Knapford Station to pick up Annie and Clarabel. We, we missed you. you! Thank you, Annie and Clarabel. I missed you too. <laughs> Thomas promised to stick to his branch line in the future. He wouldn't try taking shortcuts again. See you later, slow coach. <laughs> but he and Bertie still like to have races. And sometimes... Thomas even wins. Down in the middle of Tidmouth Chance Two little engines, best of friends Coming along the road. Hello, slow coach. Ignore him, Thomas. He's teasing again. But you're not slow coaches. You can go very fast. He's not talking, talking about, about us. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Two minutes early. Good thing I hurried you, or you would have been late. That's not true. 
I always get my passengers to the station on time. <laughs> you must be slowing down, though, Thomas. Lately, I seem to beat you to the level crossing every time. I'm not slowing down. I'll show you. Let's race again. <whistles> Thomas and Bertie think racing is great fun. Sometimes Bertie is quicker. Especially when Thomas has to wait for sheep on the line. And sometimes Thomas is quicker. Especially when Bertie has to stop for workmen repairing the road. Slow down, Thomas. You'll burst a valve. You'll rattle an axle loose. I'm going to win. I'm going to win. But lately, every time they have a race, no matter how fast Thomas puffs... Oh, no! Bertie manages to win. You really are very slow these days, Thomas. <laughs> Thomas couldn't understand it. Why was Bertie always there first? I was going faster than ever. Later, Thomas met Bertie again. But he wasn't sure if he was happy to see him. He <laughs> don't be cross, Thomas. Should I tell you my secret? What secret? I've been rerouted. Now I take a shortcut, so my route is much quicker. Thomas was very surprised. He didn't know Bertie could take a shortcut. It was winter time on the island of Sodor. The wind was cold and it looked like it would snow very soon. So all the engines had to wear their snow plows. Hello, Edward. All ready for the snow? Oh, yes, Percy. Better to be safe than sorry. But Thomas didn't like wearing his snowplow. So he puffed into a siding and did something very cheeky. I can leave my snowplow here and pretend I can't find it. So Thomas played a trick on his driver. He told him that the snowplow didn't fit and had to be removed. I won't have to wear it anymore. Thomas puffed back to Tidmouth Sheds. Thomas, where's your snowplow? I can't find it. If it snows, I'll just have to go out without it. That night, it did snow. The island of Sodor was soon covered in a thick blanket of fresh white snow. And when the engines puffed off to work the next morning, they were all wearing their snow plows. All except Thomas. The fat controller was not happy. Thomas, as you don't have your snow plow, you will have to wait in the shed. It is too dangerous to go out without it. Very well, sir. Emily, since you have your snowplow, you must clear Thomas's branch line for him. Yes, sir. Thomas was delighted. I don't have to wear my snowplow. Emily was cross. She wasn't snug and warm. She was clearing snow on Thomas's branch line. It's not fair. Why do I have to wear a silly snow plow and Thomas doesn't? <laughs> then she heard some children laughing. They're probably laughing at me because I look so silly with my snow plow on. This made Emily even more cross. But as Emily cleared the tracks, she saw the children playing in the snow.
It's not fair. I like to race Bertie, but he's been rerouted. What does rerouted mean? It means to go a different way to the one you usually go on. What's wrong with that, Thomas? Bertie takes a shortcut now, so he always wins. Then an idea flew into Percy's funnel. So, why don't you take a shortcut too, Thomas? Then you could be rerouted just like Bertie. Thomas thought that was an excellent idea. But Annie and Clarabel didn't. But there's no shortcut on your branch line, Thomas. If you go another way, you could miss a station or make your passengers late. <coughs> but Thomas was determined. If Bertie could be rerouted, so can I. Thomas arrived at Dryor Station, just as Bertie was arriving too. Some passengers got off, and some more passengers got on. But as soon as he could, Thomas rushed away again. Bye-bye, Bertie. See you soon, Thomas. He didn't want to lose another race. If Bertie can be rerouted, so can I. Thomas came to a junction where the tracks were already switched. Maybe that's a shortcut. But he only ended up running along a loop siding and coming back onto his branch line again. Oh! Then Thomas found another track that led away from the branch line. Maybe that's a shortcut. We, we don't, don't think, think so. so. We, we don't, don't think, think so. This time, Thomas ended up in an old goods yard. Oh, dear. That's not a shortcut either. We told you so. We told you so. The passengers were grumbling. But Thomas didn't want to give up. Finally, Thomas spotted an old track that led into the woods. This must be a shortcut. There is no shortcut, Thomas. Bertie was waiting for Thomas at the level crossing. He never usually takes this long. Bertie's passengers were starting to grumble too. So Bertie went on his way. Looking around to 
to see what they find Every day, whatever the weather Help you look down every line So when you're feeling down and out Don't you ever give up That's when you need your friends about To take you to the top Searching everywhere Up, down, left, right, look over there Searching Like you're gonna go there too. Anything I do, you're always gonna do that too. It doesn't really matter where I may be. I always get this funny feeling that you're following me. But Thomas, we're friends. Nos amigos, sin mover a otros amigos. Y salir a la son amigos. No te mareas que salen amigos. Everyone. I'm just saying hello. Maybe we could take you past the animal park, Harold. You could see all the animals close up. 
That would be nice. Sorry, Harold, but the animal park is not on our way. I know. We could take Harold across the Sodor Suspension Bridge. I must say, that sounds very exciting. But it's still not on our way. We must take you directly and promptly to the Sodor Search and Rescue Centre. It's the Great Western Way. Duck was sticking to the Great Western Way and that was that. This made Thomas cross. Harold, I really want to show you Napa Station, but I don't think Duck will let me. Then Thomas had another idea. <gasps> Duck, I forgot to tell you. We need to go to Napa Station. We have to collect the engineer who's going to fix Harold. All right, Thomas. If we need to go to Knapford Station, we must go there directly and promptly. So Doug headed toward Knapford Station. Oh, my! Look at that! Just wait till you see inside. It's... Stop! What's the matter? Just stop! Sorry, but Harold's too tall to go into the station. But... Express coming through! Helicopter on the line? Harold's too wide to let me come out. Now I'll never be on time. The fat controller couldn't believe his eyes. Duck, Thomas, what are you doing here? We have to collect the engineer who's going to fix Harold, sir. What nonsense! The engineer is waiting for Harold at the search and rescue centre. Thomas? Um. Oh! Now, Duck was cross with Thomas. You tricked me, Thomas. But from now on, we will be sticking to the Great Western way of doing things. We will be going... Directly and promptly to the Search and Rescue Centre. I wish I could have shown you more things, Harold. Don't worry, Thomas. You tried.
Rescue, here we go. Misty Eye and Rescue, here we go. With boilers on the bubbling, the engines are coming. Misty Eye and Rescue, here we go. Searching through the tunnels one by one. Searching through the tunnels one by one. one, one. Whipping Percy hunting with pistons on a pumping. Searching through the tunnels one by one. The rescue is in motion Edward James Gordon on the way Bash Dash Ferdinand They're the log in locos Always there to lend a hand Thomas has to make amends So he needs his brand new friends today Helping every way Misty Island Rescue, here we go Misty Island Rescue, here we go. With boilers on the bubbling, the engines are coming. Misty Island Rescue, here we go. 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 Dive under the sea, travel to places that we've never been. Make friends with a tiger who knows how to sing. Together we can do a million fun things. Let's go, let's dream, come along with me. The big world is calling, all aboard for a fantasy. So much we can be thanks to imagination and curiosity. We could be in a movie where we save the day. We could speed through the 
ocean on the sun's yellow rays. We could ride a roller coaster and laugh all the way. Together we can do a million great things. Let's go, let's dream. Come along with me. The big world is coming. All aboard for a fantasy. The world's full of wonder. There's so much we can be thanks to imagination and curiosity. So much to learn, so much to see, so much to do, so much to be. Let's go, let's dream. Come along with me. The big world is calling. All the boys. <gasps> Caitlin! What if I was streamlined like Caitlin? Streamlining makes engines much faster! <laughs> <laughs> Silly Thomas! Thomas. <laughs> Who ever heard of a streamlined? Yeah! All I want is a bit of redefining. A slinky, slicker, swifter, cold, the smooth and shiny. To get the speed I really need. Whoosh! You'll wonder who was passing through. Whoosh! You won't believe it's even true. Whoosh! But all you see of me will be a shiny streak of racing blue. I've come to you, my friend, as I need some redesigning. To be a tank engine is so confining. Give me the curves I deserve. Streamlining. <laughs> Wonder who was passing through. passing through. Whoosh! You won't believe it's even true. Even true. Whoosh! But all you see of me will be a shiny streak of racing blue. Go, Thomas, go! Go, Thomas, go! All I want is a little redefining. But certain other engines might be redesigning. I'll get a shape that makes some gain. Go, Thomas, go! I'll have the curves that I deserve. Go, Thomas, go! I'll get the speed I really need. Go, Thomas, go! I'm full of surprises. Are you singing, Diesel? They ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. <laughs> I'm full of surprises. As you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. I can't really see anything under here. I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle-dazzle to the yard. I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see, I don't find being surprising all that hard. Some would probably say, I'm only up to my old tricks. But I'd say I'm a problem solver, looking for a nice quick fix. <laughs> I'm full of surprises, they ought to say of me. I bring some razzle dazzle to the rail. I'm full of surprises, as you can plainly see. I'm trusting my surprises to prevail. I hope this time being surprising doesn't fail. They used to Excuse call me, me devious. Oh. Because I had a bit of previous. Let someone on know. But please, you must be us. Oh. I'm not that bad. <laughs> well, maybe just a taste. <laughs> the Great Railway Show. It's gonna be special. It's gonna be great. Off to the mainland without coaches or freight. Please, sir, I beg you, I just have to know. Will you, won't you take me to the railway show? 
Take me, sir. I pull the heaviest trains. I'm such a mighty engine, sir. It's never a strain. <laughs> it's not a tough decision, though, I have to confess. It's hard to find a better engine for the express. Hmm, precisely. But I didn't mean not to take me, sir. <laughs> I know I'm kind of small, sir, but I'm not a beginner. I had a race with Gordon once and I was the winner. <laughs> you ought to take me, sir. I'm modern and new. Your first diesel ever. I'm loyal, kind and true. It's gonna be special, it's gonna be great Off to the mainland without coaches or freight Please, sir, I beg you, you can't tell me no Will you, won't you take me to the railway show? Fast engines, long engines Tough engines, strong engines Everyone who's any engine's eager to go I'm not going anywhere Will you, won't you take us to the railway show? It's gonna be special, it's gonna be great Leaving behind all our coaches and friends oh. Please sir, we're begging, you just can't say no Will you, won't you take us to the railway show? Will you, won't you take us to the railway show? Will you, won't you take me to the railway show? <laughs> oh, Thomas! Why would Sir Topham Hatt want to take a little tank engine like you to the Great Railway Show? Always think they are so clever And so they like to bump the trucks around 
They bump them in the sidings, they bump them in the yard. They better beware, they better take care, they better be on their guard. Thomas, be careful! Thomas pulls the trucks along the line. He's happy and he thinks it's going fine. The trucks all start to moan, they rattle and they groan. Look out, Thomas, watch out, Thomas, that's a warning sign. Come along, come along! Before long, Thomas comes to Gordon's Hill. It's hard work and he really has to pull. But soon he's at the top, and then he just can't stop. The trucks go faster still. Because those trucks and trucks will get the engines every time. Trucks and trucks will run the engines off the line. They push them here, push them there until they go too fast. Then they push them once again, laughing while they crash. Trucks and trucks will get the engines every time. Trucks and trucks will run the engines off the line. They don't care how big they are to them, it's just a game. Edward, I am. Oh. Wake up, lazy bones. Really useful engine coming through. <laughs> oh, the indignity. He's a really useful engine, you know. Because the fat controller, he told him so. Now he's got a branch line to call his very own He is the really useful engine we adore He is the one He is the one He is the really useful engine that we adore He is the one must be the new number one. I'm Thomas. Well, look after the branch line, Thomas, and wear that number with pride. Don't worry, Mr. Coffee Pot. I will. You can count on me. <coughs> uh, uh, but uh, I'm not Mr. Coffee Pot. My name is Glenn. <laughs> He's a really useful engine, you know. Cause the fat controller, he told him so Now he's got a branch line to call his very own He is the really useful engine we adore He's the one The fat controller knows that Edward is a really useful engine And that is why he's given him his own branch line the line that runs to Brendam Docks. One day, Gordon was pulling the express on Gordon's Hill when he thought he saw a red flag blowing beside the track. Oh, no! That's a danger signal! I'd better stop! Oh, that's not a danger signal! Those are red... <laughs> It was a pair of trousers that had blown off a washing line. Poof. Then there was trouble. Gordon couldn't start up again on the steep hill with his long, heavy express coaches. Oh. <laughs> Edward had just arrived at Wellsworth Station when the station master stopped him. Gordon is stuck on his hill. He needs a banker engine to give him a push. Oh, not again. <whistles> and he says I'm the one that's unreliable. Honestly. Gordon was waiting very impatiently for Edward when Emily came along. <laughs> Having a rest, are you, Gordon? 
I wish Edward would get here and give me a push before any more engines see me. Oh dear, Gordon. <laughs> I see you've got stuck on your hill again. It wasn't my fault, Thomas. There was some red trousers by the track, and they looked like a danger signal. Red trousers? Danger signal? <laughs> <laughs> By the time Edward arrived, Gordon was rather cross. You took your time, Edward. You're so old and slow, I'm surprised the fat controller keeps you on. You're not moving very quickly yourself, Gordon. <laughs> Gordon was still fuming as Edward pushed him up the hill. <laughs> Express coming through! Aren't you even going to say thank you? Oh, 